Hey guys, what's going on? Will here, Flawless Exotic Creations, coming to you guys with a different type of video today. We're going to be introducing a new little series here. Um, not really scheduled out quite yet. I'm going to start pretty, pretty basic, but this is going to be our Gene Chaser series. Um, everybody know we got in the game, we purchased a lot of high-end stuff, medium stuff, um, some entry-level stuff as well, and we're going to be working all of that together to a T with a... Um, Big in numbers, I guess, uh, for a smaller breeder, especially getting started. This is still year one. We feel that this type of content is going to feed uh, the people searching YouTube, starving for content as well. Um, and we're new. Um, so anything that we put out in these series, I mean, take it with a grain of salt. It's our opinion. Um, it's what we're um taken from all the knowledge and research that we've done thus far we don't claim to be better than anyone we're still learning and going to continue to learn um i think that's part of the the thrill in the hobby is finding out new things um but what gene chasers is actually going to bring to you guys is this platform here for us guys go ahead comment down below uh subscribe you know definitely give us the thumbs up if we're doing a good job but this platform here we've gotten nothing but positive feedback from everyone and um again we're going to keep coming with the content and keep rolling out with different phases of the flawless brand so here what you're going to find we've done a lot of research we've done a lot of interviews with different uh, podcasters uh, done a lot of research um with different channels and here you're going to have a lot of audio audio uh if you're cleaning your snakes uh in your facility or in your homes or if you need that you know to scratch that snake itch for the week this is going to be it we want you to land here so this is where we want you to subscribe tune in for all our content pictures videos uh shorts as i always mess up because i always say reels for for youtube and i know it's shorts and uh, we're going to constantly bring you the heavy heat coming here first. Um, and I don't know. We're going to hope to continue to grow. Right now we're at about 650 um, subs. So subscribe if you've been um, watching. Definitely hit that sub button. And hit the notification bell because we've already been getting told by um, subs that you know they weren't even notified that we were dropping videos. So here we go. Let's roll. So now that we back kicking right into it jumping right into it this week we're going to be talking about inchi again guys uh this is episode one uh, we're not going to get too complex we're going to definitely show off some snakes um show what we have here with different projects but uh we're going to start simple with inchi um so if you guys have questions or even comments put them down below again we're hoping we're hoping to bridge the gap between um entry level uh keepers and breeders like ourselves um and leading up to hopefully getting on to the the big time level with the big dogs um but on that road just like we've experienced with our crested gecko business you're gonna have uh, hiccups um and obstacles and there's a learning curve so we hopefully can bridge that gap with flawless is out of creation's youtube channel uh, hopefully this series and, and this platform will make you feel comfortable enough to start your own journey because we binge watch everybody <laughs> big big youtubers small youtubers everyone um, so we love uh, your insight on this series and our channel in general so this week we're going to talk about inchi um, we love inchi the gene itself um a little brief history on it where it was first discovered as being a bandit animal via uh, Ozzy uh, for us that's when we discovered that it was a bandit uh, animal was initially from Ozzy because we're a patreon member of Ozzy and um, we've seen quite a few pictures of I want to say some of some of not the first but some of the first uh, inchies that were discovered and brought here and worked with and it was a bandit animal um quite a zebra like like not the zebra uh, gene but it was quite zebra like and what we're seeing now um i guess the progression of the gene has definitely changed with the times 
Um, I don't know if it's just the progression of the genes or uh, as we've seen in DG, you know, um, different strains of the gene um, being tightly tied and working together to, I guess, morph or transform into different versions of the same exact gene. Um, so the way we're going to work it here is Inchi is going to be a staple in, in a lot of our programs. Um, reason being is we love what it do, you know, um, Inchi and then even more so super inchy um, it definitely cleans up a lot of uh, the snakes that we have uh, that being said let's go ahead and jump right on into it so I figured right out the gate we would jump into DG inchy this is our DG inchy male hopefully you guys can see them really really clear it's really not fair because it has DG in it to say that uh, it brightens up <laughs> your snakes but um it definitely inchy by itself it increases the orange uh colors and i'm colorblind myself but it increases the oranges in your snakes and we know you guys are here for the snake content so we're going to show these snakes off this little fella here is a proven breeder and he's on our morph market too by the way um oh i'm sorry dude because we stepped up from him and we've went to uh, double visual DG pod but we're not going to talk about DG right now I'm just talking about it because it's displayed in him so check him out and then we're going to show you another little combo right now okay this girl here this is Inchi Het DG she's beautiful Actually, she's one of the few that's actually named here. Her name is Lily. Um, and she, this is her forever home. Just because, uh, yeah, she's het DG. But if you look closely, she only has one eye. And she functions great. She's proven. Uh, she actually was purchased as 66% het. For DG and she proved out this year she's pretty awesome but look at the blushing and brightness of her sides so that's another trait of Inchi so a lot of this stuff yeah we have done research on and now to have like our hands on snakes like this we can actually see it for ourselves so look at how bright those sides there's no pastel there's no yellow belly in her she's awesome now the thing about inchy as well it can be difficult to pick up inchy if you have a lower quality inchy if you have a lower quality of the gene it can be difficult to pick up what we found so far in hatching out some as well that inchy is very apparent when they're hatched especially with the pattern that you can see how it can be a banded snake but we found that this is a gene that increases with age increases what I mean by that it improves with age the expression of the gene the brightness of the gene it increases with age and we love that about this gene so it's like every time they shed out it's just you know they're hitting you with more and more of a wow factor so that's her that's Lily so here we have Inchi Vanilla, which is also double het. This is a, a smaller female, which she, she's getting big now, guys. But uh, this is double head hypopod girl, and she is Inchi Vanilla. Now, with her, I do think that Vanilla is influencing the pattern a lot more than just um, Inchi by itself. But as you guys can see, even in her size, she's extremely bright. I think that's the combination of Inchi the gene improving with age as well as vanilla which it's also another gene we're going to go over in this series vanilla and fire so check her out check out her dorsal and again come right back with the banding and she was a banded snake guys some cocoa there oh. So, 
hopefully you guys can see all the color how bright she is look how dark her head is <laughs> that's something we found as well the inchy head the way it pinches down in the back of the neck we found that actually this was going to be the last one but let me show you one more combo so guys if she'll cooperate we have another big big proven and she's not going to grab it right now she's big and proven this is an inchy pod this female we purchased actually as a regular pod and we actually proved her out to be inchy um, and we actually can see it but again being new that's the importance of us posting these videos check out her head classic inchy head the pinching and if you look at her pattern right by my forearm classic inchy pattern but she's an inchy pie so it's always pretty cool to be able to pick up a snake pay a price for a snake whatever it is and find out you have some extra genes in that snake so that's always pretty cool as long as it's genes that you're willing to work with oh don't be mean and her tail is quite plump so she's probably gonna poop soon <laughs> So I'm going to put her away before she poop all over me. So guys, yes, we've learned a lot so far dealing with Inchi and there's so much for us to continue to learn. Um, we love all those expressions <clears throat> of Inchi. It can be very difficult in pie picking it up and we're working with it a lot in pie, um, especially when you're throwing like yellow belly into the mix uh, with the jagged edges and things of the sort. Um, especially because in the non pieds or single gene form or not as complex combos with Inchi, we found that it flattens out the alien heads, um, which basically makes like the alien heads featureless. There's no dots in it, anything like that of the sort. Um, but we, we really, really like the gene. We really love the super Inchi expression. Um, and plus the value of the gene where super inchy, you're going to pass one copy of the gene in every single piece of the offspring. Um, so we're really, really stoked about that. So guys, I know um, very, very entry level information is not groundbreaking, but that is the audience we want to address. Um, we want to address, you know, people like us, you know, that may have questions that may, you know, be afraid to ask them on bigger platforms. Um, Come over here, subscribe guys. This is the platform for you. Um, there's no such thing as a stupid question. Only questions that's not asked where you won't have answers for them. Um, hopefully you really love this content and um, we're gonna bring you guys plenty more. Again, this is episode one, Gene Chasers, you know, and uh, we kind of played off Dream Chasers from, you know, Meek Mill. Um, uh, uh, Philadelphia rapper um, so we figured uh, we'd start these series out easy and and put it out there give us some feedback what we could do better um, what other genes you'd like to see we thought about going through the entire collection we're not there yet that's gonna be an extremely long video we know a lot of you like the longer videos so we're gonna try to appease everybody um, but we feel like doing it this way we can have more series more content uh, more talk time and definitely put out you know a lot more videos for you guys to consume so it's will flawless exotic creations episode one gene chasers in the books catch you on the next one